two great stars there, Gary Cooper and Patricia Neal. Pat Neal was one of our great friends at TCM, Pat Neal who played Dominique. In a private screenings interview she did for TCM, she was very frank about this movie and how much it meant to her and how it was the beginning of a really torrid romance she had with Gary Cooper in real life, something which lasted several years and had a great effect on both Gary Cooper and Pat Neal for the rest of their lives. And back with me one more time to talk about that wedding dress you just saw Patricia Neal wearing is Catherine Williamson, the Bonham Auction House in New York City. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks so much for being here to talk about all of that. You are welcome. So how long have you been involved in all this? I've been working uh, in the auction business for 17 years now. Yes? Yeah. That's and you're a long located way. in New York City? No, no Los I live Angeles. in Los Angeles. So you just came for this auction? I'm just here. Except Bonhams does have their uh, uh, a showcase and a place here. We do have an office here in New York City. I'm based out of Los Angeles. But we are having this sale in New York City because we feel like this is a great audience for movie memorabilia. Most of the sales these days happen in Los Angeles and there is a community there and that's obviously where most of the property comes from. But there are so many great movie lovers here who are somewhat underserved. I mean people don't necessarily bring the property out here and so one of the things we wanted to do with TCM was have this sale here where all of the East Inch Seaboard where it's easier for people to come mm -hmm. and see and participate. And you know as a collector myself of posters I do think it's for me it's very important to see them in person. I think serious collectors uh, and new collectors too really appreciate the preview process. Mm -hmm. It's like going to a museum mm -hmm. but where the curator is right in front of you and will answer questions and will even take it out of the case and show it to mm -hmm. you. I mean it is the best way yeah. to see historical items. Well one of the things I love about the auction process is the fact that you know it does encourage people that have these things you know maybe in their homes or were left by you know relatives or whatever they put them out in circulation again so the people that love them for whatever reason have a chance to maybe you know acquire some of them or, or have access to them. It's really interesting to see that happen. The change that's happened in the 17 years that I've been doing this has been um, among many of my collector clients still absolutely a focus on classic Hollywood cinema the 30s 40s and 50s will always be the centerpiece I think of memorabilia collecting and I think we have TCM to thank for that but also uh, there is an appreciation of newer cinema that we couldn't sell 17 years ago we couldn't sell things from the 70s nobody mm -hmm. was collecting that yet but now some of those items are very desirable they're yeah. speaking to a new generation yeah. of filmmakers we thank Got you so much for being collectors. here and and telling us about all that well you're welcome and explaining it to us and good luck with it i hope it goes on for a long time thank you yes indeed thanks Catherine. you're welcome well that's it for Catherine and me if you're in the new york area this monday november 25th or near a telephone where you can bid for items do check out more details about the big what dreams are made of auction at bonhams Right now, though, stay with us because we have more movies straight ahead. And as always on TCM, they're going to be uncut and commercial free. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Ronald Reagan encourages Richard Todd to change his mind in the hasty heart. Then Wallace Beery is a punch drunk prize fighter in the mighty McGurk. And pilot Van Johnson tries to keep his spirits up in High Barbary.